Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Very interesting news with the confirmation of, or at least confirmation um, from a report that both Vincent and Emmanuel Stuka are officially South African citizens, have got South African passports and are therefore qualified and eligible to play for the Springboks. Um, a brother duo that's very much been on the forefront of the South African form players in the last few years um, for both the Lions and the Sharks. Um, they're both at the Lions and then obviously Vincent made his move to Sharks and now Emmanuel going down and joining him at the Sharks for next season. And uh, they add to the wealth of uh, back row options that Rusty Rasmus has to choose from. Um, and I think particularly Vincent Tuka, given how versatile he is, um, can play at block, can play at flank. Um, both of these two um, are very much going to be on the Supreme Mark radar, in my opinion. And, and I think we could see one of them, at least one of them, playing in the next couple of years. Let's get into it, shall we? So... Um, Vincent Tuka and Emmanuel Tuka are, are, are players who have uh, been growing through the ranks for quite a while. And, and they've had a very interesting journey. They didn't go to necessarily sort of your traditional big sort of uh, rugby schools. Very much had to go through the Varsity Cup. Um, Vincent playing for, for UJ, Emmanuel playing for Vitz, for example. Um, then going to Lions Curry Cup and have basically just sort of broken the door down everywhere they've gone. Uh, Vincent Tuka about two years ago when he was playing for Lions, I think he Cleaned up about four or five Man of the Match awards. Um, he left for, um, to the Sharks, and Emmanuel kind of, sort of picked up where he left off and uh, was one of the best players for the Lions this past season. He's also made the move down to the Sharks, which wasn't, I don't think it's been the best move so far for Vincent. He struggled a bit with injury when he first got there. Um, now starting to play uh, a bit more, a bit more regularly. Um, and um, we know that Vincent Tuka is, for example, has been on the radar before because he was actually in that sort of Springbok gold versus Springbok green match a few years ago during COVID. And uh, when I spoke to him, for example, we did it, we did it, he, we actually had him on the channel. He spoke about the fact that the Springboks is the goal. You know, that is his dream, to play Test Rugby, to play for the Springboks one day. Um, and, uh, you know, he's somebody with massive ambition. Um, when I spoke to him about moving to the Sharks, for example, he spoke about the fact that whilst he loved playing for the Lions, and, uh, you know, he appreciated basically like, you know, he was the best player really for them. He wants to be a star amongst stars. So he wants to be able to go to the Sharks and continue to be the best player, despite there being an Eben Etzebeth, an Andre Estazen, for example, you know, your Oxy Chess, Bongi Manambis, um, you know, those sort of players. And he still wants to be considered one of the best players there because he wants to be a test match player. And, uh, you know, one of the opportunities, one of the reasons he went to the Sharks was to be in an environment with competition where players around him are, are world class and he can then sort of gauge where he is uh, in, around them. So it's a very interesting uh, uh, situation because, you know, we talk about the Springboks having such incredible depth, particularly in the back row. And uh, these two are players who I think will add to that. Vince Tuka, for example, such a, such a good option at seven, can play in the second row as well. We've seen the Sharks do that. Um, I think he'll settle in at number seven for, for the Sharks next season. Very interesting to see how they um, integrate Emmanuel Tuka, especially if Sia Khaleesi, for example, is coming. Uh, assuming they manage to hold on to Vince Tuka, who is rumored to be on his way out with having lots of options overseas. He's 25 years old, and apparently lots of French clubs looking to try and uh, learn away from the Sharks. However, I think having gotten the citizenship, having become eligible for the Springboks, I think that'll entice him to stay for at least one more season. You know, give it his all and try and see if he can get into the Springbok radar, get into that sort of setup, um, play for the Springboks, and then maybe look for that move um, overseas. Um, the main thing from Mesa Rugby's point of view is that they are eligible and that we're not adding even more talent into the ridiculously stacked um, options we do have at, at back row. And, and I think that both these two, from in my opinion, are test quality, could play test rugby and, and very much look at home playing test rugby. So it's it's a good it's a good situation to be in. Whether we'll see them, probably not this year, for example, but I think if they have a really good season, maybe next season, as I said, they're both young players. Vincent's 25, Emmanuel's 24. You know, they'll be really at the peak of their powers come the next World Cup. You know, Vincent will be, what, 28 years old. Um, Emmanuel will be 27, for example. So they'll be really, really close to their peaks. They can make another two World Cups. And I think that's the exciting thing about them. Um, bring a lot of physicality, as well as great skill sets, very hardworking players, for example. I think they've got the right mindset. I think they very much suit the type of person and, and that that the Springbok management wants in around that squad. You know, that hard graph, that, that sort of don't take anything for granted. 
So I think that they very much suit all the various things you want to see in a screen mob player at the moment. The question is, can they get themselves back on the radar, get themselves a call up and then make it count? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.